Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3. Last time, we almost finished the main part of the game. We're at 24 to 25 crystals, 38 to 47 gems, 23 to 31 relics. So what we're going to do today, we're going to head into Gone Tomorrow. That's our last of the main levels. And then we're going to take on Cortex and finish out the game to see the ending. And then... Going forward, we will continue to round out the rest of the uh, gems and relics we're missing. So, with that being said, let's head into Gone Tomorrow. Oh, and we get to use the green gem here. All right. So much like, uh, what what was that level called? Um, Future Frenzy or something? I don't I, I don't remember. We we were we were what? Really? Whoa, buddy! Ah. I, I definitely don't remember those guys, but, you know, enemies like that, it's, it's too bad they didn't put them in other levels. Because, like, as far as I know, this is the only level they're in. Whoa! Oh, crap! We were... <laughs> I didn't realize we were on a conveyor belt. Oh, there's our... There's our, uh, box down there. Okay, let's grab this guy. Ooh, that's sketchy. Oh man, I thought for sure we were going down. Oh, you know what? We could have just shot them. I really was not thinking. We have another box off to the side somewhere? Not, uh... Not seen anything. So we'll have to I'm assuming I'm assuming there's gonna be another box somewhere down here and we're gonna have to come back for that. I guess we'll find out. Well we got a checkpoint at least. Well, there's our last crystal. Oh! 
I didn't know you could flip those guys. Okay, so we're going to do that because we're going to, there's going to be, there's going to be a box somewhere that we're going to hit. Uh, not before we go to bonus level though. Who knows? Maybe the box will be in the bonus. I doubt it. Just shoot it instead of waiting for the, uh, there we go. All right, we'll take... Let's shoot that. Woo! 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, not, not too bad level so far. Now, just to satisfy my curiosity. Nope. Can we shoot these guys? Yes, we can. Um. Well, we're going to be coming back, so let's get the checkpoint later. Well, let's let's hit the green gem. Hopefully it wraps us back around. If not, then I mean we'll we'll do a quick run through the, the level again. Oh yeah, it should wrap us back around because it's got boxes. Let's see if we can hit that enemy down there with this. Oh my god, the range on this thing! What? Do we have to do the bonus again? No. Oh, nice. Took him out for us. Okay, round two. Good thing it's a green gem and not a death root. Or, well, no, it wouldn't have mattered because we got here anyway. Okay, let's wait for this guy to come back. So, when in doubt, double jump. Take care of some housekeeping. Game? Ooh, that could have been bad. Well, there's our there's our gem. Ah, is this what we're looking for? Please bring me back to the beginning of the level. Oh, nice! Um, I feel like we're good here. 
Oh, yeah, because it's just the boxes on the bridge. Or on the bridge. It's um, the boxes under the steel boxes that we have to hit the TNT. That's that's the uh, the outline boxes that I was thinking of. And thankfully, I hit the I didn't hit that checkpoint up uh, further up ahead, so we can hit that, and then we don't uh, if we die, we don't have to do the green gem again. Yeah, this one. Yeah, there we go. Checkpoint. Seven boxes to go. Double jump for the win. I love double jump. It's so nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there. That's our last boxes. Okay, let's get it. Hey, go for it, go for it. Nice! Hey, there we go. This level is going to be interesting for the, uh, the relic. But so that wraps up. All 25 crystals. Plus two gems. So that brings us 92%, 25 to 25. We need seven more gems and we need eight more relics. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, we definitely wanna, we definitely wanna save. Um, wait, how many, uh, we got 23 relics. Just want to have a peek. So I don't remember. Oh, okay. That was future frenzy. I thought it was a different level. Yeah. And we need two more to open up rings of power. And I think everything is cleared out. Yeah, that's hang, hang them high. So we just need the relic and ski craze uh, down here. Well, and there's going to be a relic and rings of power too, but that's not... The, the relic and rings of power isn't going to help us open up rings of power. But with that said, let's go take on Cortex. supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Man, you look like Once you haven't slept in months. Smarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather and upset. And shot a lot of them. And in fact, we're furious. But it seems we're all of one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you. Good luck, man. Sometimes this force field fizzles out. Oh, good to know. You seem a lot more angry than you were before. No. Oh, dang, I didn't realize you can get roasted by that. Oh, I didn't realize we... Oh, no, okay. My bad. Uh. 
Okay, you get in the pit. I I mean, I don't remember <laughs> this fight at all. Oh crap, my volume went away. Okay, there we go. Keep hitting my stupid headphones. Not that they're broken, there's just there's a volume roller on it. Go two down. Is this going to be a case where, like, I don't remember. Is there a second phase to this, or is it just this? Whoa, buddy! And there's our fast run shoes. Okay, I was hoping we were going to get some of these. The but there we go. So we beat Cortex. This is not fair. Maybe and that, should, uh, that nice should help us get uh, the rest of the relics nice that we're missing. That, that explains how you... Uh, nice I, I didn't... Bags of ice for my head. I, I wasn't expecting to get the fast run shoes. Like, I thought they left that out and replaced it with something different, but... Yeah, yeah, that, that would have been a welcome addition to trying to get some of those relics that we were getting. But now that we got them... Toys for Bob? Who's Bob? But, so that's the... Uh, the main game of Crash 3. Not too bad. Some of the levels are a bit rough, but we seem to make it through with relative ease, I'd say. Definitely had an easier time with this game than we did with Crash 1 and 2. <laughs> For sure. Oh, um, I, I did have a look on my, my shelf with my game collection, and it turns out I do have Wrath of Cortex. Uh, I've never played it. I, I, I went to a local hawk shop years and years and years ago, and it was, it was awesome. I, I, I don't know if they still do it. I haven't been to the hawk shop in a bit, but they had like shelves of not old games, but older games. Not not quite the classics, but anything post PS2 they would have. So it was like PS2, original Xbox, Xbox 360, PS3, um, GameCube, Wii, that kind of thing. And they'd have games for like, I don't know, most of their PS2 games were like two bucks. Didn't matter what they were. It was awesome. And I had managed to find... Uh, it, I remember getting it because I had went the one time and they had the Final Fantasy 12. Um, yeah, it was just it's just regular Final Fantasy 12, but it's a collector's edition with a steel book, and it was like four bucks. So I was like, oh okay. And they had Wrath of Cortex there at the same time, so like I, I do remember picking it up. I just never played it. I got it for like two bucks. Um, so we will be playing that. I, I don't know if we're going to do it right after this or or what. Um, Because I do I do want to pick up Crash 4. I, I don't actually have it yet. I just I have to decide if I'm going to get it through Steam or through PlayStation Store and see if it's going to go on sale at some point. Um, but we do have either Crash 4 or Wrath of Cortex on the horizon. 
And I have been looking for... I, I looked up um, kind of the, the entire series of Crash games. And it, it turns out there was a bunch I wasn't aware of. Like, uh, and like I still have to look into them to see what exactly they are. Like, if they're actual games like this, or if they're like, I don't know, like fighting games or whatever. But there's, um, I saw that there's Mind Over Mutant. That's on the, I can get that one for the 360. It's pretty cheap, but, um, so there's Mind Over Mutant. There's, uh, Crash of the Titans. I don't, I don't know what that's about. There's, uh, Crash Twin Sanity. And then there's like the racing stuff. So there's, uh, Crash Team Racing and there's Crash Nitro Kart, but I, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do those. But I'm, I'm definitely going to look into Mind Over Mutant, Crash of the Titans, and Twin Sanity to see what though what the deal is with those. Because I mean, like I, I I had a look and they're they're pretty cheap, so I mean I can pick them up and it's just a matter of waiting for them to actually like be shipped here. <laughs> but so those are uh, some future things we're going to possibly do, depending on what kind of games they are. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if some of them are like fighting games, then they're, that's kind of obscure for anybody to want to watch, like a Crash Bandicoot fighting game. I, I don't know about that. I mean, I'll do it, but you're probably, probably pretty quick. But so I think next... Um, like I'll, I'll probably throw something in between this and whatever we do next. Um, like I, I want to do the, uh, I want to do the other metal slugs just to get them up. Um, yeah, we, we got a whole pile of stuff, but it, it, uh, next crash game at least will be either crash four or wrath of cortex. The only, the only sticking point with Wrath of Cortex is um, it's on PS2 and when I plug my PS2 into my capture card it looks like garbage. So I gotta see I'm trying to think of how we can do that. Because, like, my PS3 isn't backward compatible, but the PS3 doesn't let you plug it in anyway through HDMI. But, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Either way, though, Crash 3, um, this version of it compares pretty well to how I remember the original on uh, the PS1. It just, it looks a lot nicer, and... The, the, my only gripe with this two gripes actually so it wasn't as bad in, as in this one as it was in Crash 1 but the depth perception issue where like you're running forward and trying to jump over pits and stuff it's almost impossible to tell where you are relative to the ground you just kind of have to jump and hope you make it and, but I mean, that's, that's just a camera perspective thing. And there, I don't really know if there's a way that they could have mitigated that too much. Um, the other, the only other thing that I noticed particularly bad in this specific game, Crash 3, was the dropped inputs on the controller. I, I, I had a, I, like, I, I had a couple dropped inputs across Crash 1 and 2. Which, I mean, in games you can sometimes expect dropped inputs, because it's just whatever. It, I mean, it, it happens, you're pushing buttons on a controller, sometimes it doesn't register because like you're in the middle of an animation, but I noticed that that was a pretty big offender in this one. There, like, we had a lot of dropped inputs in this. Especially on the double jump.
But that that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game. It doesn't mean it's a uh, you know a bad remaster or anything like that. It's still awesome. Like I, I had a blast playing through the trilogy. And I would definitely recommend if anybody hasn't played this or hasn't played the originals, I would definitely recommend these to play through. Because they're... It's awesome. And I mean, how could you not enjoy Crash? It's just great. <laughs> oh my god, time trial developer best times. Oh dang, they do it for the whole the whole game, like all three games. Dang, 30 seconds on Road to Ruin. 12 seconds on Orient Express. That dude went beast mode. He got all the boxes. Hot cocoa. What? Is there bonus levels outside the bonus levels in this? Because I, I saw Hot Cocoa and I saw another something, something Rex. Huh. But so that wraps up the main game. And now we get to finish off. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Okay. I guess you can't you can't use the fast run on Oh yeah, no cuz the that's the bazooka button. Okay, so let's see what we got. So we have to do gone tomorrow. That's done. We need to do flaming passion. And we need to do bug light. Uh, what's which one's the shortest time? One one forty nine. One forty three. Two oh five. Let's see what other. I think the only other <clears throat> levels outstanding were in here. We got Sphinxinator. We got that one. Got that. Got Future Frenzy. And we got Tomb Waiter. So wait, how many relics do we need? 23 out of 31. Which ones did we miss? So I was pretty sure we got... basically all of them except for those last few I, I know we got two of them to get in the the basement part the the secret rooms or the the secret level segment thing that we go through the floor to get to and of the main levels we're only missing two out of the 25. Okay, well, I guess, um, well, I think we'll call it a video there, and next time we'll go in and uh, do a run through Gone Tomorrow, and we'll do a run through Bug Light, and Flaming Passion, and go from there, and then we'll unlock Rings of Power, and I'm, I wasn't aware of those um, 
those extra levels that were in the credits. So between videos, I'm definitely going to look that up because I'm curious about that because I haven't seen anything. Or I, I might I might wait on looking it up and get through these relics and clear out the relics in the secret or clear out the secret levels to get all of the levels done. Finish clearing out the relics in those and then we're going to play the uh, the bonus level future tents and see what the deal is with that. And then if nothing's been mentioned by then, then I'll probably end up looking it up because if it's something that we unlock after, then yeah, that's awesome. But I haven't seen anything about any other levels other than future tents and the levels that are under the floor. But I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.